one of these beautiful animals, and they play an incredibly important role in our northern ecosystems by taking out the sick animals, the weak animals, and those unwise animals. What do you reckon, mate? Yeah, totally. Now, Bluey's done an awesome demonstration today, showing you guys how they hunt out in the wild. I reckon for the school holidays, and we have a big crowd in today, let's give Bluey his absolute favorite part of doing the Crocosium demonstrations. We're going to simulate what a successful hunt for a crocodile might look like in the wild now. We're actually not going to use an ibis, if you can believe that. But, uh, we have a bit of feral pig here tied to a long rope. Now, this is a technique Steve actually came up with. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give Bluey this piece of meat, and I'm going to hang on to this rope and basically simulate a prey item putting up a fight once a crocodile as a successful ambush attack. And this is really cool, because you'll get to see what Bluey will do to bring down an animal and then eventually eat it. Now you see how excited he is. All right, Dave, I'll let you talk so I don't get distracted. All righty, so if you could just imagine now that a large feral pig has come down to the edge of the water. Thanks, Dave. Bluey's confused, he's never seen a pig wearing shorts before. But he sets himself up anyway. He grabs a hold of that pig, now he's got to pull it back into the water. You can see he's got his eyes closed, that's to protect himself from the animal kicking. And he should go into a death roll to trip that animal off its feet. There's one death roll, that's Bluey's first death roll. Kids, how many can we get? He's fighting, he's going to fight hard, he's still got those eyes shut. This is a massive workout for the person that has to do this. Two death rolls, kids. Bluey weighs, you know, 150, 200 kilos. Chandler's got to pull him around the pond, basically have a big tug of war with him. And it's a really good experience for our crocs here at the zoo. This is a natural behaviour that they do, and they absolutely love doing it. He looks like he's setting himself up for a third death row here. Will he do it? Does he have the energy? Crocodiles build up lactic acid in their systems just like we do. They're designed for that one initial powerful attack, couple of death rolls, and then it all builds up very, oh, there's three death rolls. He's good, he's good. Here we go, so I'm going to cut this right now. He can have it back. There you go. Well done.